more stop to send me a more. If driving the longest road in the world wasn't enough, give yourself 100 days to build a 4x4 motorhome capable of such a task. 40,000 miles crossing every type of terrain imaginable through some of the most feared and remote regions on Earth. Just for something to do? No. For something to write books about. Something to relish in the aliveness of living on the edge of the unknown insanity. Something to radically expand our perspective of what the world is actually like and what is possible within one lifetime. I'm Matthew. And I'm Stacy. And this is Toyota World Runners. We're camped at the highest point in the Sierra Gorda mountain range. After driving nearly the entire latitude of Mexico, we are now pointed towards the largest city in North America. Like you, we more commonly seek out natural wonders to travel to. However, this part of our journey would give us the opportunity to do something most overland travelers might choose to avoid. This massive freestanding rock and former volcano is made of igneous rock and is one of Mexico's 13 natural wonders. At over 350 meters tall, it is the third largest monolith in the world. A beautiful waypoint on our long drive today. Stacy wants an iced coffee, <laughs> and I want to try Mexican Subway. Buenos <laughs> Aires. Uh, sir, cuánto cuesta? Oh, 99. Oh, yeah. Gracias. Why isn't it just 100? Yeah. Our first glimpses at Mexico City. <laughs> Population 22 million. This is a very drastic change from what we were just in. I think what we've got planned is going to. We're going to be able to cram a lot into a short amount of time. Totally. Just paid our first toll road. I'm stoked on that. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much driven across Mexico and no toll roads. No toll roads. It's sweet. Uh, one moment. That's the Monday. Okay. Gracias. All right. Well, we <laughs> I didn't even ask for the identification. 12, 10. Here. Okay. okay, we have arrived at okay. the Rainforest Chalet. Uh, okay, you can't show the code. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting garage. Oh, man. We totally fit when you're in here. You just have to get past the door. Wait, does it open? I think it opens sideways. Oh, 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 stop. Oh my god. <sighs> well, that, that almost <laughs> just nailed the truck. Next on the escape room. Oh, nice. You got that one. Cool. I'm getting back. <laughs> okay, there's three doors to get in here. Wow. How to make sure that you feel safe, everyone. <laughs> We gotta tell you what we're gonna be up to for the next few days and why we're here. But first we gotta get something to eat. Stacy and Matthew, here's a little present for both of you. I'm very excited for your adventure. God bless your trip. Tickers! No way! Those are cool. They're so cool. I think we're gonna start with <laughs> these guys. It appears he knows us well. No smoking. <laughs> yes, drinking. <laughs> Speaking of, let's see what kind of beers he likes. Oh! Nice! Is it Pacifico? It is! Legend. Legend. Off to go find what Mexico City has to offer for tacos. I'm sure it's very 
small assortment. We accidentally ordered horchata instead of water, which is a popular rice milk beverage, and it is delicious. These tacos also took the new number one ranking in our travels. We need to discuss the plan. We've got one full day to explore Mexico City on foot. Mm -hmm. Notable sites that we've seen online and want to check out are Centro Historico, Roma Norte, Condesa. Uh, those are just districts. Overall, generally absorb ourselves in the chaotic, awesome, artistic, flamboyant, eccentric street life of Ciudad Mexico. We also asked our followers, our friends on Instagram to ask us some questions. So we're going to be answering some of the best questions throughout the day today. So stay tuned. I, I, I don't know what the heck is going to happen today. <laughs> Ready to take on Mexico City? Day there, Sunday. See you tonight. First order of business to locate the bus stop. Oh my God. <laughs> right, so first question from our viewers. Hilson underscore Joel asks, what camera do you use other than the GoPro? Uh, well, Y'all are either going to be uh, shocked or disappointed, but we are filming on a Sony A6500 that's about four years old. And if you know anything about cameras, that should go to show you that it doesn't matter what gear you have, it's how you use it. never been that nauseous in a moving vehicle in my entire life. <laughs> we couldn't even talk to each other. <laughs> I was bumpier than the Chinook down a 4x4 trail. We must have had signs hovering above our head that said, I'm lost, that led this kind stranger to assist us in locating the subway and the correct line to take. Okay. Or so we thought. We appreciate it. Thank you. Line number nine. Okay, got it. That seems easy enough. Got off in the red stop. We'll find out in a sec here. Now what? Back in the world. La Condesa is a trendy, tree lined, artsy district in Mexico City, dotted with boutique shops, cafes, and street taquerias. This hub of eclectic eateries and exquisite street art draws us in immediately. Murals, hipsters, historic architecture, and divine smells populate this area. We visit a lot of cathedrals, missions, and churches on our travels. Few have left such a remarkable feeling as this one. Mi cuñado dice 
It tastes incredible. <laughs> wow. Jamie underscore Cooper Ellis asks, how did you choose your route? Our route is based on safety, off the beaten path, and word of mouth. Gyarados the Great asks if we're ever worried about the weight of the rig when it comes to power we're stopping and the quick answer is no the Chinook only weighs 6,500 pounds fully loaded the 3.4 has plenty of power to pull it up hills even in fifth and we put massive brakes on it the biggest we could buy mm. everywhere you look in this place everything is happening everything you could imagine is for sale and everyone's got something to do but no one's in a hurry. Underscore Fapsol. Underscore Fapsol asks, what is your go-to food on the road, aside from the fresh fruit? Uh, that's really easy. Uh, tacos, legitimately. We've been eating, <laughs> if not every day, every other day, pretty much since California. A new variation every time. Yeah, it's usually beans and carne, which is uh, roast beef, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we eat by the packaged beans, packaged we fried beans and the packaged meat as well, so it's kind of two fresh veggies and homemade salsa. What's really cool about a lot of the Mexican stuff you find in the grocery stores is there's almost no preservatives. So even like the packaged food, there's usually only three or four ingredients. It would be like the meat, salt, vinegar, and chilies, which is, you know, a lot different than back home, but it's, it's awesome. really good. And yeah. the homemade tortillas. Oh yeah, the tortillas here, <laughs> you, you so can't good. get in Canada. It's, Silly. Yeah, um, and then probably fried rice and pasta. Yeah. Yeah, egg, scrambled egg, fried rice, and uh, just a basic pasta. Yeah. Easy stuff to store. Yeah. Tacos definitely a strong one. Tacos takes the lead. With landmarks dating back to the Aztec era, the historical center is the heartbeat of Mexico City. The iconic buildings, street art, and massive population of vendors, restaurants, and pedestrians all somehow exist in harmony. When they say everything happens in Mexico City, they're not lying. Santa's here. But it's not, it's like organized chaos. It's like there's millions of people, but they're all friendly and nice and walking in the same direction and not yelling at you or bumping into you. They're just like coming up to you and offering you cool things. Never have I ever seen a Coca-Cola bar. 
allured by every footstep down interesting new streets, following the locals around, almost made us feel like we were a part of something. Trust us when we say you can buy anything in Mexico City. It's hyper stimulating, exquisitely beautiful, and endlessly entertaining. No right up. I'll tell you about the right up. It smells like a nice, clean, crisp IPA. Oh, I missed that. I really missed that. Damn. The gift of God. Okay, it's like a really good idea. And Fortuna. In Mexico. I think it's in Guadalajara. It's all in Spanish. <laughs> Do I have to read it? Ipolita, India Pale Ale. De gran aroma y blanqueado. Brutable al tomar. Yeah, anyways. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's, uh, more bitter than I imagined an IPA to be. Whoa. Oh, that hit me in the nose. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. I'd love to know what it actually said it was. <laughs> Cerveza, fauna, nipa, hazy, lichen. <laughs> I swear I thought we got an IPA. I'm not so sure. I think it's a hazy IPA, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually a hazy lichen. Oh. That's good. That's what you've been missing? That's a hazy IPA. That is what I've been missing. A little bit sweet. Oh. I think it tastes like a more citrus electric unicorn. Yeah. Okay, now that everything is fuzzy, it's time to head back to the Airbnb. That's a lie. We're going to another surfing. <laughs> Just kidding, we're going to another brewery. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> now where we're just <laughs> walking down random roads that look fun. Mexico City at night is lively. Ten PM. Our Uber is on its way. And I'd say we crushed it. We checked off a big list and I would say for one day we did Mexico City Justice. Yeah, me too. My legs are really sore. My legs are so sore. I don't know how many kilometers we walked today, but it's gotta be half a marathon. Alright, we got a big day tomorrow. So we're gonna catch this Uber and go to bed. We'll see you in well, we'll see you in a few seconds. It. 
everyone. But can we get the doors open? Okay, rapid fire Q&A. Fabsol, does Matt plan to grow his hair like he did six years ago? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Destined for Wild, any regrets of the build so far? We got that a few times. I know Matthew's regret. I regret putting an inline fuel pump in the Chinook. I regret not looking at the structural integrity of the Chinook before we took off on the adventure. <laughs> it's fine. Kevin Rome's. have you had better tacos than the ones you had with us, lol? We yes. have. <laughs> Mexico City, best tacos in the world. Yep. Immortal underscore Jitsu, what do you use for navigation? We have the premium version of Gaia as well as Google Maps when we have our phone plans. <laughs> and our eyeballs. And our eyeballs. Lambie underscore N underscore Scoots. What's the weirdest thing you've been bitten by so far? Thankfully not a dog. Stacy. Uh, mostly just the regular bugs. strange tropical bugs. <laughs> Yucky bugs. Eric underscore J underscore Hart. How often do you spring clean? More often than we thought we would. Every day. Almost every day. Stacy. I'm a freak. It's way, too small. <laughs> it's way too small of a space to not clean every day. Dust gathers in two seconds. She's used to own a house cleaning business. Yeah. We clean it every day. Ford Fab 69 asks, what has been your most fun part of the adventure that you didn't plan? It was just rat. I think that's easy one. Answer in three, two, one. Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> yeah, that was the most spontaneous, awesome experience. If you haven't, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's at the end of two videos ago. It really proves that uh, natural beauty can only go so far, but human connection is really what the what you crave. Yeah, that's where it's at. <laughs> Isaac underscore place underscore asks, "Do you ever get bored? And what do you do if you are? I'll be traveling full time soon and would like some ideas." Uh, start a YouTube channel, take photos, and write a blog, and you will never you will, get bored. No. It doesn't feel like work to us. No. It's, it's very purpose-driven, and, mm -hmm. and that makes it awesome. And we're creating a time capsule that we're really proud of. The underscore moose underscore trophy asks, what spares do you carry, and what are your pre-flight checks? We've actually been working on a video going over the gear that we use that makes a difference and I'll include all the spares and bits and pieces that we brought. Too long to answer right now, so stay tuned. Coming up. Tim underscore Lun asks, what would you change if you had the chance to do a Land Cruiser Chinook build 2.0? Oof. Heavy. <laughs> I mean, we built the truck in a hundred days. To say we got everything perfect would be a lie. Mm -hmm. However, the, it fits all of our needs. I, I feel like for what we aim to do, we we exactly hit that mark. It's a just it's a beautiful, comfortable living space. It it literally does everything that we wanted it to do. Yeah. If we were going to do a 2.0, uh, I would probably remove all the wood and just make everything that is wood metal, mm -hmm. and I'd upgrade the shocks and supercharger. <laughs> Where is Jaden asks, what makes you most nervous about the trip? Hmm. You can answer it first. I don't really feel a lot of nervousness about the trip. I think, I think the only thing is just leaving. Thank God, it's one of us. <laughs> I think the only thing is like, maybe just like leaving the truck. Like when we leave the truck to go do a thing. I think that's the only thing that makes me just a little bit nervous. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm the nervous one. Uh, probably what makes me the most nervous is, is uh, falling victim to something uncontrollable. So, robbery, um, an accident caused not by us. Uh, yeah, and I think I, what makes me the most nervous is not finishing our trip. Mm. But we're going to finish it, so it's fine. <laughs> T Y T Y P I X, tie tie fix, <laughs> asks, How is your Rome awning attached to the Chinook? Two bolts go through the 
steel frame through the fiberglass and sandwich to the bracket on the outside. So it's a sandwich through the steel support. Dags underscore J asks, or says, hi guys. <laughs> Love your channel. What did you both do for work before you left on your trip? Before I completely dropped everything and committed to the build, I was in forestry. I was in the timber cruising department and I was a compass woman. Before this, I ran a small digital marketing agency, I suppose, uh, solopreneur life, and had a lead generation business. If you need a website, hit me up. D underscore low underscore junior asks, did you save for a year to afford the traveling? We actually answered that question and a lot of other financial questions in this video. Mm -hmm. So check, check that out. Check it out. AA underscore Wick underscore Rick asks, having accomplished so much already with this dream, what new dreams come to mind? That's an awesome question. It's my favorite question. This is an epic question. That's a good one to finish with. Just want to build more things for me like i as crazy and as hard and taxing as the build was for for me i i loved it it was so empowering and i i can't wait it's it's so cool to be doing a trip like this but i also just can't wait to to go home and build more crazy cool stuff mm -hmm. i'm also excited to do more international overlanding in this rig or potentially a different rig. I, I feel the exact same way. I, I feel like the dream was so big to build the Land Cruiser Chinook and go on this trip, but the build itself lit a fire in both of us that I don't think we really planned. And then we left on the trip and we were almost like still like, oh, like, but, but we need to build stuff. Like, that's what we do. Like, we're... We, we create things and then all of a sudden we were like thrown into this travel niche. Uh, so it was pretty drastic, I have to admit. And I think we're both really, we're in love with this trip so far. And this is obviously what we were made to do. We feel that every single day, but we both also know that we really like to create things. And we have three trucks back home waiting for, <laughs> for builds. <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you to all those who submitted questions. Thank you so much for being here, watching this video. That was our Mexico City chaotic mashup. A little bit different, not much Chinook content, but it was a lot of fun. If you ever find yourself in this area of the world, you have to go to Mexico City. Yes, it's a must, even if it's just for a day. Yeah, it's absolutely worth it. Yeah. If you made it this far, I hope we've earned your subscription. Smash that like button, and we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> what happens? What happens next is, well, hectic to say the least. Something we never could have expected. So stay tuned, lots <laughs> more coming. <laughs> no, you. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs>